Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakakodash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. You know, Shalawam also to the few awkward who are sincerely seeking this truth. You know, it's the GMS camp, and today we're just two, two of us, you know. But hopefully, the spirit is going to come true. So, as you all can see that there are lots of prophecies, you know, beginning to, to appear to be, to be truth, you know, the truthfulness of the word is beginning to show that these words that are written in this book are truly the words inspired by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So there is no longer, there is no longer excuses, you know. Like yesterday I did a, a video, you know, bringing out a couple of articles, you know, showing that the MOTB is actually the microchip, you know. And you know, we have all different camps, you know, saying that the MOTB is everything else except from what's true, what, it, what it is truly, you know. The MOTB, as we know, according to the spirits, according to the words, Karagma, Karak, goes back into a, a pill that's going to be etched into your skin, you know. Goes back into uh, a microchip, you know, the RFID microchip, you know, which is going to be the next step now. You know, in the video I did yesterday, I brought out um, an article from from the from DAPA. You know, DAPA is already working on is already working on this MOTB, so we can see that you know this these things are coming. They are just right behind the corner, you know. And it is said in the book of um, Luke, also in the book of Mark, I believe 29, saying, "When you shall see all these things, look up for thy salvation, so for thy salvation is near." You know, so we know that our salvation is close. We know that this kingdom is about to go down so we are out here actually you know to prophesy the fall the destruction of this kingdom and the reason why we are actually in this situation that we find ourselves and the reason why we find ourselves in this situation is because we've we've, we've abandoned our power you know the power of yashar allah you know we had we had we had a covenant together with the power right from the beginning and we left this covenant. So the Most High has given us into the hands of our enemies, you know, to, to, to deal with us, you know. So this time of dealing, dealing with us is, you know, is getting to its end. You know, we're just right at the brink of its end. So hopefully, you know, this lesson is going to be at the fine. We're going to start off by reading from the book of, um, of um, Baruch chapter four. So we'll see what we can do going through the whole chapter. If you have something to say, you know, you can always come out. Okay. So, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandment of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Can. So, it is clear right there. As I said, it's beginning to show clearly and clearly that. This book is inspired by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You understand? And all day that keep the words of this book, they are going to live. And all day that refuse to keep this word of this book, you know, they are going to perish. And this is talking about the house of Israel. Okay, you have a precept. Yeah, this is the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. It said, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of these prophecies and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand okay blessed are they who hear these words and keep the words of the prophecy you know for the days are at hand you know remember the book of um the book of habakkuk 2 3 it tells you that you know though it might tarry you know wait for it it shall surely come you know these prophecies are surely going to come they are not going to take too long and we can see that we are just right at the brink of this of that time in which you know, prophecies are already working heavily. You know, you have any other precepts? Well, you can bring the book of um, Ephesians 5 8. Baba Kasha. Wait, let me see it.
What does 5 8 say? Okay, okay. No, anyway, um, can can read it. <coughs> okay, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter five, verse fifteen. It says, "See then that you walk circums circumspectly, circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil." Okay, redeeming the time also goes into you know looking at these prophecies you know and expecting no fear not the no fear looking at these prophecies and expecting you know these prophecies to come you know the wise one are going to you know redeem the time they're going to watch carefully and understand that prophecies are coming out they are popping up So the man is just walking by, you know, he saw the 12 tribe chart and he was like, hey, attention, this lion is going to eat you. And it is prophecy, you know. So I told him that this lion truly is coming to eat them, you know, all those who have, who have refused to walk in the path of light. And the house of the wicked, you know. Let's go on. So, this Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. Redeeming the time because the days were evil. Okay, redeeming the time because the days are evil. How do you redeem the time? You redeem the time by going through the prophecies, you know. The prophecies are, are like a, a map, you know. They give us the understanding of what's going on, what time we're actually in, you know. They give us the understanding of what's going on, you know. So you need to redeem the time by going through the prophecies, you know. Let's go back to the book of Baruch. Okay, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 2. It says, Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light. Therefore, that thou mayest, thereof, thereof, that thou may be illuminated. Can. So it's tell, it's spoken on to Jacob because you know this this um this contract that I was saying this covenant was between the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and Jacob, in which you can also bring out that scripture that I first said Ephesians um five eight because it speaks about light because these words are actually light you know onto our path you know these words are light onto is a light onto our path this is what is going to guide us you know so we the sons of Jacob we are meant to take heed of it because. It's, the pact has only been between the Most High Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, and the house of Israel, the house of Jacob, in which we're going to bring out some more precepts regarding it. Okay, this is this is the book of Ephesians, chapter five, verse eight. It says, "For you we are sometimes darkness, but now are you light in the Lord? Walk as children of light." Can so this truth? What does it do? This truth illuminates you. You know, it gives you light, and that light represents understanding. And darkness represents ignorance so we were once all in ignorance you know we were all gentiles at, at a certain point of our time because we were born into all different kinds of philosophies in which you know our parents they had you know they went all different way we were born let's say we were born into sin you know then coming to coming to understand this truth is humility once you start having the fear of the most high yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know then the spirit, the, the, the Rukaka Dash, which is the Holy Spirit that gives you the, the understanding of these truths, is being presented unto you to guide you into this truth step at a time, you know? So now we were speaking now, he spoke about Jacob right there, in which we let's get some precepts regarding um, Jacob. That's you can take Psalm 147, and you can start from verse 19. Because this this truth. Only Jacob can walk in this truth, you know, and this is where these Christianity pastors, you know, they run out of oil. I, I rather they don't even have oil, they have grease. <laughs> they don't have oil, you know. They say everyone can be saved or whatever, you know, but this truth has been presented only to the house of Jacob, you know. So you that you're not part of this house, you can't be grafted in, you know. Only those that can be grafted in are, are, are the so-called sons of jacob you know the 12 tribes you know as you can see right there the so-called negroes native americans and the latinos you know they are the only people that can be grafted in 
into this that can tap into this power you know and which very soon like we're saying we're going to come back to our original estate our original estate is that of being the administrators of this kingdom because right now this kingdom is given into the hands of the wicked and as i said it was just a moment for chastisement you know for we to be the best judges we need to go through good and evil and learn you know and all this is through the power and wisdom of the most high yahab hashem Yahushai. and also because we have heard we have, we have abandoned our power yahweh okay read okay this is psalm 147 verse 19. he showed his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgment unto israel he has not dared so with any nation and as for his judgment they have not known them praise you the lord can so it is it is just straightforward right there you know he has showed his wall his, his laws and his statues he has given it unto jacob okay he has given it to israel you know in which his name became became israel you know yeah. so this name was given this um, laws and statues were given only unto the house of jacob you know the israelite yashar allah which yashar allah means the, the princes of the power you know, so we had the spew sons of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All these things that he did with us, he has never dealt so with any other nation, you know. Then if you go into the book of Second Ezra, it says, These nations are nothing but a spittle unto the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know, if you have a precept. Yeah, this is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up, from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquity. Can we are the only one that the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahshai has known? So we are being punished for our iniquities, you know. Let's get the book of um let's get the book of um Psalm 78 5, you know. Still speaking about the law being given to Israel, you know. And Israel, many of them are, you know, most of Israel are these so-called so-called Negroes that they're calling Africans, you know. And you can see right there in this park, you know, there is a gathering of of of, of Israelites mixed with Canaanites, probably, you know. Israelites mixed with Hamites, you know. They don't go back to these laws, they don't understand, you know. They are the most sottish of all people. They are happy being slaves forever, you know. They don't need any salvation because they try to get their own salvation you know getting an apartment getting a small chicken change job you know and they feel they're good to go you know but the most High has something else we are the princes of power you know we are the we are the administrators of this place we were created to rule over all the races on this land you know so that's why we really need to wake up because you know the most High is coming to do a house cleaning you know and if you're found lacking, if you're found wanting, man, you'll be taken too. Read. Yeah, it's, it's coming to take away the... Stick out. The, the, how did they call it? The nigger house. Something like that. You know, I have the story in the, in the slavery time. There's this... Um, stick out, stick out. I have, the, I have the, the story about the slavery. There's this nigger, they used to call them... Stick out. Nigger house, something like that. The ones, you know, the one that's that was serving the ah, the house niggers. The house niggers, yeah, yeah. The yeah, house niggers, yes. The house niggers, you know. So, the same thing is repeating again. Yeah, in our they, those, are, those are the gate watchers, the bullies, you know. Yeah, the, the ones that have a good job now, you know, they keep they keep making, talking about I have good job, you know. They, they, are, they, they love being servants, you know. They don't want to be sad, they love being servants. You know, they boast with their good job, you know. They love to wake up every early in the morning, four o'clock, to go and serve another man, you know. In which it doesn't really matter any job you have in this kingdom. You might have the best job in this kingdom or whatever, but you're always a servant under the Edomites, you know? Yeah. The so-called devils that are ruling today, you're always a servant under them, okay? So as long as you can't have servants of your own, you're not blessed, man. Read. So, I should read this Psalm. About this. Where is this? Psalm 78, 5. Okay. This is Psalm 78, verse 5. You read down to 8. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, even the children who should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children, 
27. That they might set their hope in God. So the most that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has given these laws and commandments unto the house of Jacob, you know, informing them to transpass this commandments from generation to generation. But what happened? It got to a period of time in which, you know, our fathers, in which it's still always us, you know, they actually started following the laws of other nations, you know, just like we're doing today, you know. We start following Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, in which Jesus Christ is a pagan, pagan deity. I'm also going to go into the lesson, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Ratazah. Actually, the name Jesus comes from um, from um, from uh, a deity. No, it comes from uh, from a uh, from a Celtic deity. You know, I was reading on the Wikipedia the other day. They sacrifice babies to this to this deity. You know, I'm going to bring the lesson out. You know, it's powerful. You know, so that's what we're doing. We've abandoned the laws and the statutes in which we read in the second verse that it's a light. It is going to guide us and lead us directly back to. It's going to illuminate our paths. You know. So we started going after, you know, the deities of other nations, being Israelites, being, um, being sorry, being, um, being Islam, following Islam, following the unconscious community, the Egyptologist, and following all sorts of crap, the New Age, whatever, you know. But the only thing we don't go after is to search for our own laws. And this has been told that we should give it to our generation, to our children. So we stopped giving them to our children. Now look at this, look at it, look at, look at where we find ourselves. We are niggers, man. We are just Negroes and slaves. We are nothing, you know, because we departed from these laws. So these laws are actually light. They are a way to go. It's not like Christians are saying that, you know, the laws are done away with. Hell, to hell no, man. The laws are not done away with, you know. The laws are actually a way of life. If you don't live according to that way of life, then you, there is nothing differentiating you from the animals, you know in which the other nations they actually are the same level of other animals you know but the most High has exalted he has exalted the horn of jacob you know amongst the rest because we are his sons direct sons we are the princes of power we are those people that he has chosen you know above all other people keep reading so this is verse, verse seven that they might set their hope in god and not forget the works of god I'm really as, as they read it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But keep his commandments. Can. He says, so we might set our hopes on the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So we needed to pass this thing from generation to generation. So our, the children that were coming, they could, they are going to, you know, put their hope on the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay. Then, actually, this is, this is, this is supposed to be our education. Can. You know, we you are not supposed to be, you know. <laughs> you, you teach my words. Yeah, this is supposed to be our education, you know. These days now, when you uh, have a child, you now take it to the government. The government will have to brainwash your child, tell you your child how your to, child you know, for you, It doesn't man. make sense. This is supposed to be our original education, natural education. The statutes, the laws, this is what guide us. You know, if you go to, I think, the Trumpet, chapter 4, in that, if you go through it, Moses was explaining to them, this is what will make us different from the rest of the nation. You know, this is what makes us holy. What set us apart is this law. This is our knowledge and, and, and uh, wisdom. But today, you know, we lost everything. We have become a beast. Now, yeah. oh, read it again from that verse 7. Okay, this is Psalm 78, verse 7. That they might set their hope in Yahweh Hashem And that we might set, now you're going to jump to it. Now, that we might set our hope in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Not setting our hope in having a doctorate degree. Not setting our hope in becoming a, a, a fucking nigger. You know, not setting our hope. In becoming the best rapper, or not setting our hope in becoming the best strip teaser, you know, the best boxer or whatever, you know. This is how Esau has gotten read, uh, he has gotten hand of all Jake's men because Jake has refused to follow these laws which are written, you know, in order to guide Jake as a light, in which we're going to go to that, those scriptures of light also. Okay, you finish verse 8. Okay, this is verse 8, Psalm, Psalm 78, verse 8. And might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and a rebellious generation, a generation that set not their hearts aright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So, as you can see, you know, these laws were actually, you know, commanded to be passed from generation to generation. So, we are not going to be like our fathers who were us, you know, who were stiff necked, you know. They don't understand shit, man. 
They are sottish children. They are children that don't understand, man. Foolish children, you know. So without these laws, you are lost, man. You are lost. So how can these laws be done away with, you know? So now we're going to go into the point you have a precept. Yeah. Bring it out. Yeah. This is Psalm 119, verse 9. He said, We are, we are without shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed there to according to the word, according to thy word. Can a young man can understand, can grow, can become, you know, the best of himself by taking heed to the words of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because these words are actually light. They are actually going to direct your path. That same chapter, go to 105. You know, then from 105, you jump to uh, 130, I believe. That same chapter. You know? Say, so, this is Psalm 119, verse 105. It says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Can. These words are light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path. You know? We are actually walking, this world is, this kingdom that we're living right now is filled with darkness. The only way you can see your next step is by having a touch. And this touch is this word. Go to 130. I, I, should, have, I should have read this 104. Okay, read, 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 read it. Okay. This is Psalm 119 verse 104. It says, Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Speak on it. You know, it's... Just like what the brother is saying, through thy precept. What is precept? Precept means commandment, the law, thy law. You know, it is, we only get understanding of life through the law of the Most High. This is our education, this is our way of life. But these days we are forsaking and our sorry, way of life. Excuse me, not to cut you short, the word education means to draw out. Yeah, to draw out what you already have. You know, so like you said, through thy precept. I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. You know, there's no other way for us to live a better way than following our statutes and commandments. This is what connects us with our maker. We have an agreement, you know. Moses actually sprinkled blood on this agreement, you know. But we forsake all these things. You know, it's a contract, yeah, you're right. It's a contract, it's a safe contract, but we broke it. But now, nah, According to the uh, uh, the scripture, the scripture said, well, you know, when Moses was speaking to them, he told them, he know that after he died, he, you know, he will forsake all these things. But yeah, we will forsake all this law. But there is a way, you know, there is a word written that we, through this word, we will come back. We we'll know who we are. That is where we are now. You know, the dry bone. And can you can see how powerful the Most High Yahweh Hashem is? You know. We, we fell off by abandoning these words yeah. and now we're coming back by embracing these words, you know? And where, yeah. where, where, do, where do all these, you know, wacky-tacky Christian churches, pastors, where do they stand when they say these laws are done away with? This is a way of life. This is a way of life. Okay, should we all be sleeping with each other's wives? Should we all be sleeping with beasts and animals and say the laws are done away with? Yeah, that's what that, You know, these people don't, don't actually think. You know where they say the laws. Now I was watching at the Ashwan by yesterday. Yes, that's that's the that's where I'm re referencing. Yeah, the video. You know, you, know, you posted that video. That I thing got that me video. really crazy, man. Yeah, me too. You know, the guy was like, <laughs> he was I, proud. Yeah, he was and proud. the most Shai is going to destroy that pastor, man. You know, his because, destruction is going to be made public. You know, you know once you're a Christianity, you don't you don't have mind. You don't think. You don't reason anymore. You don't have. You lose your mind. You lose your bread because these people don't go according to bread because the law. You know, they tell you that love, love, what is love? According to the scripture, love is keeping the, the commandment of our Heavenly Father, which is our That's status. pure love, man. That is love. You know, Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, keep my commandment. But these people are telling you that uh, 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 they don't have to keep the law. You know, that they, they want to be, be like a beast. Verse 30, you have it. Hmm? 130. 130, okay. And from there we go to the book of Proverbs. Okay, this is so one thirty, right? Yeah, it's verse. This is Psalm one nineteen, verse one thirty. It says, "The entrance of thy word giveth light; it giveth understanding unto the simple." Can so as you can see, entering into these words, into these laws and commandments, what does it give? It gives light. Yeah. It gives light. You know. So if you're not walking according to these laws and commandments, okay, we are right that we can't follow all these laws and commandments in this kingdom, 
but those ones that we can put into into um, practice you put them into the, into practice and into, onto your best ability you know go walking in these words it's a light onto your feet you know thy words are a lamp onto my feet now let's get the book of proverbs chapter no. 6 okay let me add something you know add. you know when this christianity you know when they are actually saying that, uh, the, you know, there, if you watch the video, there's a, a scripture they read that the Paul said that if you try to keep, if you keep, if you lose, if you if you fall short of one command, yeah, you, you have failed the all these things. You know, Paul was like, these people don't get it because we have been in captivity. I think that, that was was this Rome. You know, Paul was telling Roman, these people, yes. we are under slavery. There's no, it is impossible for you to, to carry out all, all the law while you are under captivity. You know, it's, it's not possible. So Paul was like breaking it down for them. Okay, you can do this, you can do this, but you know, Yahashai, this is why Yahashai came to die for us. You know, but that, that period of grace. Yeah, you know, he was trying to tell them we are, we are now under grace, but that doesn't give you the, the, the go ahead to say, okay, now I can now break the law. I can now do... You know, it doesn't make any sense. Because actually what was going on at that period is you had the Judea and the Jews you know, and you had the, the the Israelites that were foreigners, and the Jews were going to boast against the, the Israelites that were foreigners. You know that they were not you know observing certain laws. They were not observing certain laws. You know because at the end of the day, we're not going to be saved by the laws. You know, but observing observation of the laws is what leads you to light. You understand? Yeah, exactly. So it was there to sort that thing out between you know the Jews and the and the Gentiles. That a hey, don't boast of yourself that you're keeping these commandments, the full everything, because you're living in, in, in Jerusalem. You know, you can't boast against this rest of the people. They are also Jews, you understand? They are also of the stock of the house of Israel. So that was the entering, the open, the open for us, in which that actually, what Paul was actually doing was actually introducing us into this new age that we're living. Because now we can't observe all commandments 100%, you know? The food we eat is contaminated, you know. The days are turned all around in which in many days, which is the Shabbat, we definitely go out to, to, to work in the plantation, you know. So that's what Paul was actually saying that if you if you if you if you break one law, you've broken all, you know. So now if you break one law, you've broken all, does it mean that you have to break all? It makes no sense. You have something to add. Yeah, because in, in that story, I don't know. Wait, wait, let me. You know, this is Romans chapter six, verse one. He said, "What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that ah. grace might abound?" Verse two said, "God forbid. How shall we? God forbid. Shall we? Oh, say, says God, God forbid. God forbid. Shall, how we, shall we?" That are dead. How shall we that are dead? Okay. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? You know, can't. Paul was like, you know, you can't continue living. You can't say, okay, we are covered by our And child. you continue nah. living in sin. You know, it doesn't make any sense. In which that's what the churches they preach. That's what the churches they teach, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, Paul was trying to tell them, okay, take a baby step. You know, start. You know, a step at a time. Yeah. You know, he tried to encourage them, you know, okay, just like for us now, before we came into this truth, we don't know that we are we are of, of the stock of Israel, right? So we don't know our customs and tradition. We are living like everybody else, Christianity, celebrating whatever they are celebrating. But Christmas now we are coming, and and yeah, and now we are coming back to our true identity, our true nationality, you know. Returning to our heritage. Yeah, you know, we are trying, you know, we are trying our best to keep the law to the best of our ability, you know, taking the baby step. You know, doing the best we can. The one we know that we can keep. You know, we do it. And the one we know, no, we can't do this. Okay, Heavenly Father knows. You know, like there's a scripture in Judges that says the, the, uh, we are rehearsing the, the righteous yeah, act. We are, we, are, we are rehearsing righteous act. You know? So this is what it's all about. You know, in the kingdom, we are going to be perfect. But right now, we can't keep all the... All the, all the uh, uh, the statutes or the commandments, but that doesn't give us guarantee to go ahead and do whatever we like. Oh, wickedness, you know, man. it doesn't make any sense. You know. So now let's get Proverbs six twenty three. Proverbs six twenty three. You should read. Yes. This is Proverbs chapter six verse twenty three. For a commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproof, 
of instruction and are, are the way of life. God, it's just telling you straight away right there. The commandment is a lamp, is a light of reproof, okay? And it's a way of life. These commandments are a way of life. And those who depart from the way of life, they go into the congregation of the dead. You know, those that depart from these words, they go into the congregation of the dead. And we all went into the congregation of the dead, you know, departed from this truth. That's why we find ourselves in this situation that we find ourselves today. But hey, guess what? There is hope. This is the good news that those who were actually dead, they are going to live again. The dry bones are going to live again. This is the good news. And this is what we are doing, coming out to call on to the house of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and the Latino, and those that are spread onto all different parts of the nations and are looking at the nations that they are spread onto. We're telling them to come back. You know, there is hope. There is hope. There is salvation. This is the good news, you know. Yeah, our people believe that, you know, in this life, you can only live once, you know? So, they're all always trying to do whatever they can, you know? It's they like, are justifying their wicked acts. That's yeah, what they do. You know, they race against time, you know? So, whatever they are doing, they tend to meet up, they tend to do whatever, you know? They tend to, it's like, gain everything before they die. But if you see, they don't know, they don't know better, you know? Uh, if you don't have any other precepts, let's go back to Baruch. To Baruch. We're in um, verse 2 and we're going to verse 3. Okay, this is Baruch chapter 4, verse 3. It says, Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. And that is exactly what Jake is doing, you know. He says, Give not the honor of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai unto another, you know. And those things that are profitable, don't give it unto a nation. These Jake's. They are actually being part of these devils, you know, helping them to develop their, their, their nuclear weapons. You know, Jakes are helping them to develop their, their military power. Jakes are right there helping them to de de develop their, their financial system and all this, their corrupt system of wickedness, you know. Jake wants to be a part. Jake wants to give his, get his honor from men, you know, but despising the most high Yahab Hashem Yahushai. Like that's, that, um, what's his name? That coon. What's his, what's his name? Um, Bokab Malone. You know, he's boastful because he has a, a, a master's degree or whatever. Who gives a fucking hoot about that, you know? Your master's degree is nothing, man. It's just paper. That's your master's degree in, the, in this kingdom. But in the kingdom to come, you're not going to work with your master's degree. You're not going to work with your bachelor's degree or whatever, you know? Because those knowledge are foolishness unto the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And remember, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is a jealous power, you know? You can get the book of um, Exodus 34. Exodus 34, 14. You know? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verse 14. It says, For thou shalt worship no other God, for the Lord, wh whose name is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is a jealous God. Can Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is a jealous power. You know? So all these people going after this unconscious movement. Of the Egyptologists, those going after Christianity, you know, you are actually driving to rat the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and you're piling up, you know, your fowls of destruction. That's what you're doing, you know. This glory is not meant to be shared with any other person. That's the book of um, Isaiah 42:8. Yeah, what is it? You can bring it out. Uh, Isaiah 42:8. Isaiah 42:8. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 8. It says, I am the Lord. That is my name. But we know the name is Yahweh. Yahweh. You know. So, let me just put it in normal context. It says, I am the Lord. Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to giving to graven images. So, if you're not doing this work, if you're not walking in this truth, okay, whatever else that you're doing that's out, outside of this truth, you know, going out to feed the lamb, you know, studying the scriptures, calling on the true name of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, guess what? 
you're giving your glory to other gods. Whatever you do that's out of this book, you're giving your glory to other gods. What about that? You know? If you have something else to add, you know, it's not to go on. Yeah, like what the brother is saying, you know, the book says that uh, I, I am Yahweh Bashi Yashad. You know, that's my name. You know, it does not give, like, like, like the, our Heavenly Father gave us uh, statutes and commandments. You know, He chooses us. You know, He promised us to we'll always be His people forever. No other nation will be attached to it. You know, that's the glory He gave to us. You know, he doesn't give it to any other nation. Neither do we give the glory of Heavenly Father to another God. You know, in the past, our people always sacrificed to Molech. Molech, you know, to Ashtaroth. So, which they are still doing today to Bahal. You know, it's vice versa. So, Heavenly Father gave us glory. You know, he, 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 he divided the, the whole nation, you know, according to the seed of uh, uh, Adam, right? His own inheritance was us, right? So, we are not supposed to give another glory. We are not supposed to worship other gods. We are only supposed to worship Yahweh Bashin Yahweh And He promised us also, no other people will be His people. We are the only, we are, we are His people only right like 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 the scripture just read for uh amos 3 he said you alone have i known you know that glory is meant for us only you know so we also supposed to worship him alone no other god like molech like uh, we are in the month of uh, uh december you know uh, uh, 25th now they will celebrate what they call the christmas you know so it's wrong you know Oh, you, we can go on. You said you, you covered it well. In verse 4. It's talking from Baruch. Yes. So this is Baruch chapter 5. Sorry, chapter 4, verse 5. Verse 4. Verse 4. Oh, oh Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. And that's exactly what the brother was speaking about, you know. The Most High has chosen us. He has, he has, he has honored his, the Most High is faithful, man. He honored his, um, his, um, his pact, his covenant with us. But we are the one that broke those covenants, you know. And the Most High is still there after we've broken the covenant. He's still there waiting to receive us, you know. And he says, Oh Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to Yahweh power are made known unto us. Because he hasn't let other nations to know all these things, you know. Yeah, like the one we read in... That what we just read in Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 119. Yeah. Uh, no, Psalm 147. 147 but now right. let's get uh, the book of Luke. Luke chapter 10 verse 24. This is the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 24. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things, could you see, and have not seen them. Okay. And to hear those things, could you hear, and have not heard them. Is this not honor? Is this not love? Yes. These things that are being revealed unto us right now, and this thing that is kept actually, you know, it's opened for the house of Israel, you know. If you're of the house of Israel, it doesn't matter who you are. You can tap into this knowledge. You can tap into this mystery that is not given even to the powerful of this earth. You know, this is honor, man. This is this is um, this is favorite, um, favoritism. This is racism. We can put it. You know, the most I prefer some people more than some other people. Yeah. So, but you see, Jake today, they don't they don't cherish these things. You know, yeah. they prefer they prefer to go to their enemy to get those fake papers and bullshit you can't speak and you know the enemy will tell them that all man are you poor can't <laughs> <laughs> oh man are you poor oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> that's what the enemy does you know he tells you all men are equal you know Esau is going to tell you all men are equal in which all men are not fucking equal man all men are not equal you know if you go to uh, Deuteronomy say that we are yeah wait let me read it let me read this story Deuteronomy chapter six, uh, 7 verse 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto thy Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee 
to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You know, this is not equal. Man, this is not being equal, man. This is not equal. Get you know? the book of um, Ephesians chapter 3. You read from verse 5 to 6. Ephesians chapter 3. Okay, this is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 5. Good is... Yeah, we start from 4. Okay. This is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 4. It says, Whereby, when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Yahweh which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. So as you can see, these things are not revealed to any other people except the house of Israel, the house of Yashar Allah, Kalala Yabashem Yashai. Let's get one more precept on that. That's 1 Peter chapter 1. And you read verse 10. 1 Peter. 1 10. Okay. okay. This is 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 10. It says, Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and sought diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Can our elders and apostles, starting from the elder apostle Taha and those who were before him, you know, they've searched all these things diligently and now we are enjoying of what they've searched out, you know, because this, this spirit has been given unto the house of Israel for those who are willing to tap into this knowledge. This knowledge is given unto them, you know, so we are actually enjoying from this, from this work that has been done from ages, you know. All these words of these prophets that have worked for the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we are enjoying their work right now, you know. It's been opened, the seal, the seal has been opened. That's the book of Revelation, is it 5, you know. Yahweh Shai has broken the seal, you know. He has broken the seal that was upon this knowledge in which no one could have before. But now it is available for the house of Israel. But guess what? The house of Israel is not available for this for this truth that has been opened. Do you have any other things to add? Not. Yeah, like you said, the house of Israel, the whole house of Israel right now are not ready. So actually, right now, it's only made for a few, right? Many are called, few are chosen. Yeah, like we, uh, in, in, in this truth, in, in Great Mister, we always say that uh, hope we are led. Like the elders always say, you know. In which we pray we are part of that number. Yeah, hope we are led, you know. Let me read from Revelation chapter 7 verse 1. It says, this is uh, Revelation 7 verse 1. It says, and, af and after those things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow. The wind should not blow on the earth. In which that wind represents the destruction, the nuclear destruction. Yep. You know, that wind is being held for a time so that the, the, the elect of the house of Israel can be sealed. Right. You know, keep reading. Okay. That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the sea of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servant of our god in their four hells can so you know that's the most i speaking through an angel to the angels that are holding these winds which are the winds of destruction telling them not to destroy yet as a matter of fact ezra he saw this vision of the destruction and he was asking the most High that father were you angry with the water were you angry with the bush were you angry with this that such destruction comes upon the earth is it Abakuk? Yeah. Okay, sorry. That's Abakuk, you know. He said, were you angry with... You can bring that scripture out, but then we'll go back to this revelation. You know, because now, those destructions are being held so that we can be sealed and come back to the understanding of this truth. But a time is coming in which those um, these destructions, the go-ahead is going to be given by the Most High Hashem Yahushai. Release those destructions. And when that destruction comes, it's not all the world that's going to be destroyed. But America, Babylon the Great, you know, that great world that gets the world drunk, 
through a, 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 a wine of fornication, you know, is going to be destroyed and it's never going to be habit inhabited by man anymore. And we know that Italy also is also a part of Italy is also going to be destroyed because that this is where the false prophet is, you know. They are all going to be thrown into that into that um, lake of fire, which is the nuclear destruction that is coming, you know. And what's going to happen? They are going to be distressed between all different nations. When Yahushai comes back with the chariots, these chariots are going to destroy a lot of people because at the same time, everyone you're going to you're going to reap what you've sown. You know, a judgment is coming for everyone. Now read. Okay, this is Habakkuk chapter three, verse eight. It says. Was the Lord displeased against the, the rivers? Was thy anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea? That thou did ride upon thy horses and thy chariot of salvation. Okay, that's just to tell you the judgment that is coming to the world. So Habakkuk saw this destruction and he was like, ah, were you angry with the, with the water? Were you angry with all these things? Because the destruction was so heavy. And that's the destruction coming by the chariots. Okay, there is destruction coming by the nuclear weapon. That's why it's called Tazaba, the Lord of hosts, you know. So, through the nuclear weapons, it's going to destroy Babylon the Great. But the chariots are going to do the rest of the destruction in the, whole rest, in the other parts of the world, you know. So, if you think maybe you're not in Babylon the Great, you're going to escape this. Wherever you are, you can't run from the Mostar Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Your judgment is coming because some people now knowing that you know destruction is going only to Babylon the Great and some parts of Italy it doesn't mean that you would not be judged you know judgment is coming for all the whole earth you know where the nuclear weapons don't get to then the chariots are going to finish up there you know you have something yeah, there's a scripture I'm looking for, you know, because of what you just said. You know, you know, maybe a lot of people might be thinking that they are not in Babylon the Great, so the judgment, you know, will not reach them. No. There's a scripture that Yahweh said that if he have not come, you know, they have not sinned. But now that they have come, they have no cloak for their sins, something ah, like that. they have no cloak for their sins. You know, so it doesn't matter where you are. The scripture said that when Yahweh come, that we will send his angel to go four corners of the world, you know, to gather his let and so, at the same time destroy the wicked too. yeah at the same time like what the brother just said once you gather the let for four in, in other words the whole world wherever you are you know it doesn't mean if you are in babylon yeah we know that babylon is, will be completely destroyed but the chariot will soon go around you know to you know to to, to, to give judgment to to whoever it, 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 whoever the judgment have already uh, has been destined to. Yeah, have been destined to. You know. So we can go back. We don't have any other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is Baruch Paul, chapter four, verse five. He says, "Be of good cheer, my people. The memorial of Israel." And that's what we're talking about—the good news. You need to be of good cheer because. You know, we are under right now, but we are coming back to our normal position. So be of good cheer. Expect hope. This is part of faith. You know, this is the hope you should have. Expect salvation, you know. So those of you that are not expecting salvation, there is nothing for you. This, this is part of the faith. If you have faith, you're going to expect salvation, you know. You're going to expect, you know, the return that's the marriage between we and our power, the way you see it was supposed to be from the beginning. Keep reading. Okay. Verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath. Can. We were sold to these nations, you know, not for our destruction, but because we moved the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai to wrath. Just like we said, you know. We had a we had um we had um a covenant to the Most High. We had a contract, but we broke the contract. Now get the book of Isaiah chapter forty-two. Then let's read from verse sixteen downwards. This is the book of Isaiah chapter forty-two, verse sixteen. And I will bring the blind by the way 
that they knew not. Can who are the blind? We are the blind, and that is synonymous with the with the, with the dry bones because we were once blind. You know, we were going after everything that Esau put shook into our throats. You know, anything Esau forces onto us, we take it. We don't care. We don't make any researches because we were blind. And the scripture lets you know that you know, if a blind um, blind. conducts another blind, what's going to happen? They shall both fall into a ditch. You know, so now. The most High is going to make the blind see, just like He has made us see again. We were once blind, but now we can see. This truth has been given to us, which goes back to that light. You know, I said, these words are a lamp. You know, so if you don't have that light, you can't see where you're going. So keep reading. I will lead them in the path that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them. What's that scripture that says? Um, then you shall hear a voice that would say, "This is the way. Walk ye in it." You know, if you want to bring it, bring it. You remember it. If you don't remember, we keep reading. It says, "You shall hear a voice that's going to speak. Uh, a soft voice is going to speak and tell you, this is the way. Walk ye in it.'" You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter thirty, verse twenty-one. It says, "And thy ears." Yeah, read, read from 20. Then okay. We'll go back to this. Isaiah chapter 30, let me start from 20. It says, And so the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Can. That bread of adversity and the water of affliction is the captivity that we are. You know, we went under captivity under different nations. To be sincere, we've been under captivity under the whole nation of this world. You know? Even, even. At, at the point that uh, Jeremiah was asking, is his Israel a homeboy? Is, is he a homeborn slave? You know, because we, we were going just, we went under the Assyrians, under the Babylonians, under the Medes and the Persians, you know, under the Romans, under Egyptians. the Greeks, under the Egyptians. Now we are going under the Edomites, the, the final punishment, you know. So this is the water of affliction that was given to us. Keep reading. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore but thy eyes shall see thy teacher can you know we've gone through all these steps of um captivity you know heavy heavy brainwashing heavy destruction but yet the most high yahab bashem yahusha is faithful you know he has given us teachers starting from i believe the elder abba bivins abba bivins you know he has kept these men there to show us back the way you know the most I could have actually taken away this truth, and once this truth is taken away, man, there is no hope for anybody, man. We have, we have fucked, man. That's just the right word to put. Excuse my Italian, you know. Well, if, that, that. If, if this if this truth does not exist, if the most I hasn't given this truth to certain men to open our eyes, excuse me, sorry, no hope. We're true, we're true, we're done. And that's why he's faithful, you know. So the scripture said that even though we deny him, he will never deny himself, you know. So. Most I kept the, 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 the contract. He kept the contract he made with our fathers. He didn't break his, but we broke our part. And know? that's why it said that the most is not a man that he should lie. He should lie. Exactly. So, verse 21. And, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk you in it. When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left, so this is what it is and a voice you're going to hear a voice behind it telling you this is the way walk you in this way you know and these words are the words that are coming from the scriptures you know through the, the prophets of the most high yahweh that they are actually in all the nukes and crannies you know the highways and the byways and this is also referring to the rukah kodash the holy spirit that once you hear this word it's going to tell you that hey this is the word walk in it this is the truth you know, but many people don't give heed to these words, you know. They're looking for suiting words, they're looking for sweet gospel, they're looking for every other thing except the truth. Now let's go back to that Isaiah 42 that we were. Okay, this is Isaiah 42 verse 16. It says, And I will bring the blind by the way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things. And crooked things, straight. Can. 
man now don't get it don't don't get it wrong you know there is no crook thing that can be made straight you know there is a scripture that is that is talking about the house of the wicked you know the wicked are crooks they can't be made straight because the most high yahweh Hashem Yahushai had ordained them to be that you know they can't go away from their course but we we became crooked yep. by living this truth we became as wicked as the wicked the book of jeremiah is it um, is it seven or so it tells you and in my house i found wicked men, wicked men. It's in jeremiah five. five okay you know it says in, in in the house of israel i found wicked men you know so we became crooked when we started following the ways of the of these other nations that are crooked we started following the ways of the wicked we started following the ways of esau and we became crooked but now the most like Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to make us straight again, you know. And this is the hope, man. This hope, no other nation have this hope that we have right now, you know. Ah, should read that yeah, read it. Okay, this is Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 25. It says, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay weights as he that set their snails. They set a trap, they catch his men. As a cage is full of bears, so are their, their house is full of deceit. I can. And this is actually talking of the house of Israel, the so called gatekeepers, the so called bullies, you know, the so called Will Smith, the so called um, Puff Daddy. These people are gate gatekeepers, you know. Their houses are filled with blood and snares, you know. They trick you into getting into certain traps because they are instruments in the hands of the wicked. They are gatekeepers to prevent you from knowing the truth. You know, they don't want to go in, and they don't want. They don't, they don't want, want to go in, and they don't want other people to go into the truth as well. And this destruction is coming to all part of the world because also, from our nation Nigeria, we have so many wicked men who have sold their souls into this wicked agenda. You know, their houses are filled with dead bones, their hands are filled with blood, and they are going to pay very dearly with their life. You know, because the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is not to be mocked. You know, let's go back. What was that? Isaiah 42, right? Yes, sir. So I should start from the beginning and go. Start from the beginning and go. Okay, this is Isaiah 42, verse 16. And I will bring the blind by the way that they knew not. I will lead them in the path that they knew they have not known. I will make I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. Okay, as I said, that crooked things is talking about the wicked of the house of Israel. You know, like we, we were once wicked. You know, we were, we were Gentiles giving away unto these dumb idols. You know, we were crooked, man. Because once you start following someone, you tend to become that person, you know. Yeah. That's what is called herd mentality. A herd of sheep. They don't have their own thinking. They only follow the, the sheep, the black Judas goat that is right at the front that is leading them. If the first goat that is right at the front, the dog, which is a Judas uh, goat, if it's wicked, then the rest are wicked. You know? That's why you, it's, a, it's, it's witchcraft, you know? That's what they do. Now, that's why they're pushing it heavy on the TV right now, you know, telling you that there is a whole big number of people who have made a pact with Vanessa, you know? In which we know that it's not true because there are still many people who haven't you know gone to bed with Vanessa so they try to lure you telling you that oh there are lots of people who have taken Vanessa then you should also go to bed with Vanessa keep reading okay let, let, let me let me read slowly okay Isaiah chapter 42 verse 16 said, I will bring the blind by the way that they knew not. I will lead them in the path that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. Those things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Keep reading. Verse 17. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images can all these people that are believing in their riches all these people that are trusting in the power of egypt the so-called white man that is in power all these so-called gatekeepers that are preventing the house of israel to understand what's going on you know 
all their riches that they've accumulated, guess what? It's not going to help them. It's not going to help them, you know? And all these people that are going to, you know, to, to, to bow to the image of this beast, you know, going to take the Vanessa juice so they can continue their, their slave works, you know? Guess what? You're going to lose that job. You're going to lose the job and hyperinflation is going to come in. Your money will be useless. You will not be able to do anything, you know? Keep yeah, reading. yeah, you know, the scripture said, those who are concerned with them shall be in the region. Can. You know? So, most of our people who will finally take the poison, finally they will soon be destroyed. Because. You know, because a time will come when the, the, the devil will come with everyone. You know? So, verse 17. And guess what? There are lots of people who are already losing their jobs, you know? I saw, I saw some article. There are some places that are closing up because the number of the unvanessed, you know, was higher than the number of those who have had the part to Vanessa, you know, so they had to close those jobs. <laughs> yes, not in Italy, in America. I saw, I saw those, uh, I saw an article during the week, you know. The so number this of unvanessed. Yes, the number of all unvanessed is surpassed the number of the vanessed, you know. And what did they have to do? They had to close because there was no, there were no people to work. <laughs> you know, so those people that went to take the Jews, what, what, what do they have to say now? What do they have to do? They also lost their jobs. Yeah, you know, there's a scripture where it says, Speak out. Yeah, I'm forgetting that scripture. Never trust thine enemy, for as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. That is the place, um, Sirach 12 10. You know? Okay. Keep continue. reading. Okay, this uh, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 17 it says, They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that Can. trust in graven images. They shall be greatly ashamed, those that trust in graven images. Those that trust in all the riches that they've accumulated. Those that trust in their, in their social, their social um, status. Those that trust in this, wicked, um, uh, in this wicked kingdom, they shall all be ashamed. Those that are queuing up, you know, pulling down their sleeves and going to bed with Vanessa, they are all going to be ashamed, you know. Keep reading. That said to the mother images, you are our gods. Hear you deaf and look you blind that you may see. Who is blind but my servant or deaf as my messenger? Can. So you can see what it's saying. Who are the blind and who are the deaf? It's talking about the house of Israel. You know, the messengers because a messenger is an angel. You know? We are all messengers of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Is Israel not supposed to be um, a, a peculiar, a peculiar people, a nation of priests? You know, but they have become blind. Keep reading. Who is blind? But my servant, or deaf, as my messenger that I sent. Who is blind? As he that is perfect, and blind, as the Lord servant, seeing many things, but thou. Uh, Observe it not. They see a lot of things, but they observe not. Opening not, the is ears. It, is, it not, is it not what's going back to, um, um, for my people are sottish, they, they consider not. It says the ox knows its owner, the sheep, um, the oxen, it's, it's master's crib, but Israel does not consider. They don't consider any dumb thing, you know. You can tell them this truth from now to tomorrow. Hey, you're the true Israelite. Your fathers were taking slaves from the house from Jerusalem and you were chased down to, 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 the, to the west coast of Africa in 70 AD. They would think, they would be like, mm, it, doesn't, it doesn't come back, they go back to their vomit, motherfuckers. Yeah, you know, I actually have a friend who, who stays in, uh, um, in, in the States now, in America. Yeah, I think in North Carolina. We are North Carolina. We are at uh, Manhattan Zampa East. So when I was communicating with him, telling him about this too, you know what he asked me? He told me, okay, now, now that I've known this thing, how does this put food in my table? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jake is the most stupid of all. Oh, Jake breaks record in foolishness, really. Man, I was like, bro, I was like, man, I was confused myself. That, how how you know? is this going to put food on my table? Yeah, that was his question. How is, how is in, in a video, in a video, uh, uh, call, video call, how is this going to put food on my table? Now I know this now. Okay, how does it change? <laughs> <laughs> man, I was pissed off. That was one of the reasons why I cut him off. Honestly. That's what, that's the problem with Jake, you know. Jake thinks of the belly, you know. 
in which Yahweh Shia said, don't think of what you shall eat tomorrow, you know? These birds and all these animals that are moving all around, the most I feed them, you know? Are you not better than these animals that you should think of what you shall eat? And this greediness of what we are going to eat tomorrow, what we are going to wear tomorrow, how we are going to live tomorrow, this is what is going to ensnare Jake. Keep reading. Yeah. Okay, this is um, Isaiah 42 verse 20. It says, Seeing many things, but thou observeth not. Opening thy ears, but he heareth not. Can. They hear, but they don't hear anything. Because you tell them it enters from one ear and goes out from the other ear. Yeah, you know? they have uh, spiritual blockage. Spiritual blockage, you know. Spiritual hell melt. You know? Jake hears the truth from one ear. And they'll be like, yeah, I understand. It's cool. It's right. It turns back and that's where it ends, you know. Yeah, most of them, you know, most of them have the Z, but not according to knowledge, you know. Most of them actually, you know, like where I come from, where we come from, we are, everything we do, we all, 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 always reference uh, um, our father, our maker, you know, like we used to call it God, Jehovah, then, you know, so we always reference him, you know, we always, we have, you know that Jake have that thing, that connection, but when you come down to going into the scripture, you know, telling them, okay, see, this is how it is, you know, this is what it's all about, no, it become a problem, you know. Yes, sir. Um, Isaiah 42, verse 21 says, The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness' sake. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness' sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. Verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Sorry, well, just read the, the last verse that you just read before. Okay, verse 21 says, The Lord is well pleased. For his righteousness sake, he will magnify the law and make it honorable. Can the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to stick to his promises. He sticks to his words. He's going to magnify the law and make it honorable. You know, by coming back and giving us that um, unity through his son Yahweh Shai as he has promised. But we are the ones that are not ready for this for this magnific magnif magnification of these laws. You know, we are not ready for this. Most people are more ready to, to preserve their jobs rather than, than the kingdom of heaven that is about to come. Keep reading. Verse 22. But these people, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in, ho, in, ho, in holes and they are hide in prison houses. Can. This is talking of the house of Jake. This is the people robbed and snared, you know. Robbed and spoiled. We are spoiled by all different nations you know now if you go to america the the prison system was actually created only for jake you know you have i i don't know how many percent but you have like a whole nation of jake in the prison locked underground is a huge business in america you know you have in haiti where they go down and pick children through all these gates foundation rockefeller foundation they pick all these children they harvest them and they drink their blood for adrenochrome you know they go to all parts of the world, you know, go to Mexico, kidnap babies and sell their organs and eat them up like food, you know. This is Jake. But there is hope. There is hope. Keep reading. Okay. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they have hide in prison houses. They are for a prey and non deliverer, for a spy. And none said restore. Can we are for a prey, just like I said, we are being fed. They drink our baby's blood, you know, they use us to build their their nation. We are slaves, you know. We are snared. We are living in O's. Check out the apartments we live in. You know, we can't afford the real good apartments that are big, that are spacious. Our apartments are tiny, your toilets, you can't even move anyhow in your toilet, you know, everything just tiny, you know. This is Jake, man. This is Jake. Now, now how can this how can this fit the Amalekites, you know, sitting in, in Jerusalem today? How does it fit them? How does it fit them? Those people are living comfortably, you know. I've never seen any of those Amalekites, you know, living in ghettos like we live. Like here in Italy, it's just the same system all over the world. It's just the same system. Even in America, you have ghettos, 
where you have all the masses, you know, the poor masses, most especially Jake, you know, all piled up one upon the other. Your neighbor is doing anything upstairs, you know, you're hearing everything from down. You can't sleep, man. You can't get good sleep, you can't get good rest. But the rich, they all live in, in their villas, their private homes, you know. They have these houses, they have on the grounds, you know, they have swimming pools and they have gardens. They can plant their own food. But we are subject to eating this garbage of this kingdom, you know. Eating fruits that are genetically modified. We don't even know what they put into these fruits. Sorry. And also drinking, uh, 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 what do they call this thing? Our shit water. Can, can. Our recycling shit. That's what they do. Can. You know? And yeah, that's true because I actually had the opportunity of going to work, you know, where they recycle water. What happens is that day I learned that, you know, in our blocks, in, your, in our houses, all the feces, all the shit that we put shit in the toilet, they all go into our underground reservoir. Then they come, they draw that thing out and they take it to a place. Guess what Esau does? Esau now puts chemical into all this. He takes your shit up, you know, he turns it to manure and he sells it back to you. Then the water, he returns it back into your houses filled with all different kinds of chemicals, you know? Yeah. This is wickedness, man. I saw this, I even did a video. I don't know how I, I don't know why I deleted the video from my phone, you know? I actually deleted that video, but I, I saw I saw this and the guy took me on a tour. Yeah, I he saw showed it me, he saw it himself. He took me on a tour and he showed me from stage to stage and he showed me and he told me that this water goes back into into the, the resources, goes back to the streams, goes back to your house, goes back to the rivers, goes back everywhere. Goes back to the supermarket. <laughs> Damn man. Damn man. Hey, we are fucked. <laughs> And this is the book of um, is it Ezekiel chapter 34. Yeah, you always talk about that scripture when every time I say we are going to eat dog. <laughs> this is it, bro. It's happening. It's real. Bro, I actually saw it. I don't know how he mistakenly deleted that video. After I deleted the video, we, you know, we started having a conversation about it. Man, I was like, what? <laughs> bro. Man. Everything the book said is real, you know. Uh, 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 Yahweh told uh, Ezekiel that where he will, he will send us in this captivity, where we are going, we are going to eat our dung. You know? Where is that scripture? No, no. Just write check human, uh, Ezekiel write, chap, chap, chapter wait. 4. You know? I have checked it, but I can't find it. Just write human dung. That's why we were saying that to make a cake with uh, human dung. Human. Then space dong KJV Ezekiel yeah. 4 412. Yeah, sorry. I always get you wrong that 34 is 4. You're going to get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now this is a vision that um that was given yeah. to ezekiel you know it was being commanded by the most high yahabah shmiel shai to do certain things and at the end of the day this was a similitude a similitude of what was going to come in the future read okay this is ezekiel chapter four uh, no you can start from um No, 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 no. Can he said, Thou shalt eat it as a barley cake, as thou bake it with dung that cometh of man in their sight. Read from uh, no, no, no. Read from verse 10. Okay, this is Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 10. He says, And thy meat, which thou shalt eat, shall be by weight. 20 shackles a day from time to time shall thou eat it. And that, that's how to tell you that, you know, hyper infl inf um, inflation, you know, that's funny, food, 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 foods are very expensive, measure. you know. You go to the supermarket, you know, the bio, the good food, you can't even, you can barely afford them, you know. All you have to do is to get the crap that's just right on the shelf, you know. 
Jack cannot afford, you know, the quality meat, the quality food, you know. Keep reading. Verse 11. Thou shalt drink also water by measure. Can. We drink water by measure because we pay for the water that we drink, you know, in which this is the highest form of wickedness. And that's how you know that it's the wicked that's in power, man. These things are natural resources. They are resources being given to us by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Natural resources. They are being sold to us. Even the air that we're breathing, we pay, we pay taxes for this air. Now they're coming with this CO2 crap, you know. They want to sell your life to you. Yeah. Keep reading. Okay. Thou shalt drink also water by measure. The sixth part of an hymn from time to time shalt thou drink. Verse 12. And thou shalt eat it as barely cakes. And thou shalt bear it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. Can you see it? <laughs> Man. We shall make cakes with barley and wheat with human dungs. Man. And that's exactly what's going on. What you eating, know, man. the water that comes from your toilet, it's, you yeah. know, the shit and everything, the dung that's all filled in it, gets taken to somewhere else. Even, uh, you know, they pre process them with chemicals and everything. And they're giving back to you. What you eat is dung, pure dung. That's why Yahweh Shai needs to come to deliver us from this place because this place is wicked, man. This place is wicked. Now let's go back to the book of um, Isaiah 42. You know, we are in verse 23, I believe. We we'll read 23 and 24, then we'll go back to Bible. So this is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. It says, But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hide in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivered, for a spy, and none said restore. 23. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hack it and hear for the time to come? Dan, this is a question. Who among you is going to give ear to all what is going on? Who among you is going to give ear to the prophets that are teaching on the streets? The people walk by and they are just going. You know, going back to that um, parable that said, We have piped unto you, but you have not danced. We have sung songs unto you, but you have not danced. Because this rhythm is not part of their system. They don't follow this rhythm. They follow Esau's rhythm. This truth does not resound in them. They prefer to remain blind. You know? Keep reading. Yeah, like Isaiah said. Isaiah said that who, who shall believe our report? You know? Can. Who shall believe our report? Isaiah 53. Who shall believe our report? This is the report. You know? So, verse 24. Who gave Jacob for a spy? And Israel to the robbers. Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned, for they would not walk in his ways, neither we are them obeyed unto his law. That's a question now. And that's the answer right there. You know, who gave us unto spoil of all these nations? Read it again, please. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? Can. We have sinned against the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. So we are being given into the hands of these robbers. We are being given into the hands of hardcore slavery we're giving into the hands of this bondage that we're facing right now but guess what there is salvation let's go back to the book of baruch yeah right there's good right. news that's why this thing is called good news you know when you go through the scripture you find out this scripture is not for everybody you know because in the scripture if you read it according to the context everything the narrative is talking to a specific people you know there's no way this book is for there's no i can't see god love everybody here he gave us up for a for for, for a spoil you know, Baruch said we are sold unto the nation not because of uh, because we move him to wrath. You know, we started worshiping other gods. So this 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 book is making it clearer that this book belongs to a people. It's not for everybody. If it's for everybody, then who is the enemy? How come the everybody? You know, how, okay, we all suddenly become an enemy. It doesn't make any sense. You know, get the book of Isaiah forty-seven six. Baba Kasha. Forty-seven. Forty-seven six. Okay, this is Isaiah forty-seven verse six. I was wrought with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into, the, into thy hand. Thou didn't show them no mercy. Upon the ashen hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Man, I know this is, this is talking of Esau, you know. The most high was wrought with us because of we, we, we abandoned his commandment. You can get the book of um, Amos 3. 
Is it, is it Amos 3? Yes, Amos 3. You know? He was wrought with us and Esau, Esau fucked everything up, man. He did a lot of wickedness, you know? And he's going to pay for all this. Let's, let's go into some, some things that, you know, Esau did to us, you know? Amos 3. Is it not the one you say you have, you have sold a boy for, for wine? Joel 3, sorry. Joel 3, sorry. So you have sold a boy for a harlot, you've sold a girl for wine or something. Can't, can't, can't. You can okay. start from you can start from from one. Okay, this is the book of Joel chapter 3. Let me start from one. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. This is this is this is specific. This is not for everybody. Everybody is not in captivity, man. <laughs> Man, I don't know. These people say they, they, they went to soak their so-called education, they have beer, they have doctor degree, but this is talking for talking to a specific people. You know, Judah, it says Judah and Jerusalem. You know? Which is representing the two houses of Israel. The two houses. Right you know? Verse 2 it says, I will also gather all nations. Now nah, he's talking to the, the rest of the world. No. You Christians, when you read, read with your head, which read with your brain. No, rather with the brain, you read with the spirits, man. Because you know? they, don't, they don't have the spirits. These people don't have the spirits, man. They are dead men walking, trying to explain shit that they don't know. I will also gather all nations, and we bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Which means Yahweh Shaphat. Place of the judgment. Yahweh's judge. Yahweh pleads. You know? And we plead with them, there, for my people. For my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among, among the nations and parted my land. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is simple, man. Man, this truth is very simple. It's not complicated. But this Christian, they read all these things, they'll still tell you that, man, God yeah, love everybody. everybody. Where is the love here, everybody? This is, this is suppression. It's telling you that these people, look at what they did to my people. Now I'm going to gather you all because of what you did to express specific people man this is not for everybody you know these people are making me pissed off man <laughs> so verse 3 says and they have cast lot to my people i have given a boy for a, a, an harlot and sold a girl for a wine they and have sold a girl for a wine that they might drink man. and this is what they did man this is really wicked and they keep doing all these things you know they sell uh, babies, they sell boys, they sell people. All of us, you know, being born into this kingdom, you're, you're actually a, a private property to the banking families, man. Oh. Your, your birth certificates, your, 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 uh, your, what do they call it? Your identification numbers and all those crap. Your driver's license, you know, you are property to the state, you know. And this thing that is being said right here, you know, they are doing it in a heavy way. You know, all these um, organizations, just like I said, all these foundations, what they do is human traffic, man. They traffic babies, children from all different parts of the world, man. And they're being covered because, you know, the world elites, the super elites of this world, they all have hands in all these dirty things, you know. Now we can see the case going on, you know, with the Ghislaine um, Maxwell and um, the Einstein case, you know. Lots of names are popping out, and guess what? They always try to cover the narrative so people who don't see beyond what's going on, you know? Yeah, they, they try, try to hide everything, but yeah. they can hide it only for a certain period of time because very soon the old truth is just coming out, you know? Those who are woken are woken, they are saying what's going on, but those who, 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 um, who desire to remain in the congregation of the dead, they don't see. So all these Christians, where are they speaking about all these things? You know, where is Bokab Melon speaking about all these things? Just like um, the elder apostle, uh, the elder Yashawamba said, you know, all these things that are going on in the world, all this wickedness, where are they speaking on Einstein? Where are they speaking on the Vatican, you know, kidnapping children and drinking blood? Where are they speaking about all these things? He said uh, their, their, their work is to come against the Hebrew Israelites. You know? Come against the truth. That's where you people yeah. can see that, you know, these people are the real devils, man, and they're doing the bidding of the devil. They're not doing the bidding of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The, the Bokamala who called himself Apologia, 
apologist. The, the defender of the gospel. But the, the, I can't see any defender. I, I haven't seen. He's the defender of the devils. You know, <laughs> the only thing is going around is, is you know, trying to confound the Hebrews like, no, you are not these people. Man, if you are the defender of the gospel, man, leave these people alone. Go and defend. Speak about things that is happening. You know? But they're actually out there, you know, defending the devils, you know? Let's go on. Where are we now? We are in the book of Baruch 4, um, 6. Okay, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 6. You were sold to the nation, not for your destruction, but because you moved Yahweh to rat, you were delivered unto the enemies. Yeah. So that's all what we've been saying, you know. Okay. We went and we are actually de delivered into the hands of this wicked, you know, who is killing us, you know, through all different kinds of um or, or, of um of different kinds of sciences, pseudosciences, which is witchcraft and all different kinds of enchantments, because we decided to leave this this contract that we had. So if you read this book of Baruch from the first, you know, it tells you that. We were given these laws, it's a light, it's a contract that we had, a, 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 a pact that we had with the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We abandoned it, just like the Christians are telling you to abandon it today. You know, don't worry, just love your neighbor as yourself, which is a flesh love, a love without morale. That's what the Christians, they try to push to you, you know. This, um, this vow, vow love, you know, vile affection love, you know. That's what they're trying to push to us. So let's keep reading. I don't know if I can give you this. Yeah, go on, go on. If you appreciate okay, like what out. the brother is saying, you know, we have we said this thing before, the contract. We have a contract with, with, with the Creator, with the Heavenly Father, you know, Israel. So this is what happened after, you know, when the most before they, 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 they see the contract. You know, this is Exodus chapter 24. Let me start from 6. It says, And Moses took half of the blood and put it in the basin and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. Verse 7 says, And he took the blood of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All that the Lord has said, we, all that the Lord has said, we, we do and be obedient. So you see, that's the part, you know, with the sprinkling of the blood. Now, let this is the question. For example, if a football, a soccer player, he signs a contract of two years, you know, within the contract, there are certain things that he can do and certain things he can't do. Just like a musical contract. If you sign a musical contract, you can't just, you know, leave your, your, your record label and switch to another, uh, another label. It's not done anywhere. No. It's not done anywhere, you know. If you have a job, you can't just switch from one job to another immediately, you know, without, 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 you know, without concluding anything, you know. What's going to happen? There are penalties that you're going to pay for that, for such acts, you know? And that's the same thing that's happening to the house of Israel. But guess what? We have people who have had this pact with the Most High Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, sealed it with blood, and now they are going to seal, in, to seal new contracts with the devil, with blood. <laughs> yeah, that's what they want to do, you know, by putting the electronic stars. This one will be final, you know? Now they, have, they, want, they want to control your soul, your spirit. You know, they call it a, a, a new world order. NWO. NWO you know. No. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, from Baruch, right? Yes, sir. Baruch 4. 7, I think. Verse 7. This is book. This is Baruch 4, verse 7. It says, For you provoke him that made you by sanctification. By, by sacrificing. By sacrificing unto devils. And not to God. Can. That's what we were just saying. You know, we sacrifice to devils but not unto God. Get the book of um, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 20. You know? Bro, I greet you. I greet you. We sacrifice unto devils but not unto the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. This is the wickedness that we do. You get? 1 Corinthians 10. 20. 20. Okay. This is 1 Corinthians 10, 20. It says, But I say that the things could the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. Can, but now we all want fellowship with the devils, man. We are all going, we are all living the laws and statutes that are written in this book. 
and we are all jumping into different churches that are they are teaching all different things that are you know all totally different from what the most high says where is it written in the bible that we should we should we should do christmas we should celebrate christmas where is it written that that during easter you need to you need to offer eggs and bunnies and all that crap you know where is it written that we should we should celebrate um um valentine's day which is a, a, a Roman deity called Halloween. Um, um, Apaculia or something like that, you know? Halloween. Halloween. Where Thanks is David. it written that we should, we should, we should, we should, you know, we should celebrate Thanksgiving and Halloween? Where is it written, you know? So this is what it is. Once you're doing all those things, you're sacrificing to devils. And we are being warned not to have any fellowship with these devils, man. You know, we are a set aside people, or people, a holy means set aside, you know? So if you're holy, you'll be set aside from all these wicked acts. Sanctified. Sanctified, you know? No. Let's keep reading. Let's go back to Baruch. This, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 8. You have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up, and you, you have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Verse 9. For when she saw the wrath of God coming upon you, she said, Hacking all you that dwelleth about Zion, God has brought upon me great money. And why, 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 why has the Most High Bashem Yahushai brought this great money? We just read in the verse earlier, because we have, we have abandoned Jerusalem that has nursed us. The contract. Nursed us. This contract, going back to this contract. Okay. Remember, uh, Moses sprinkled the blood. You know, in, in the ancient days, how we do it, you know, we use blood. You to know, seal contracts. Yeah, to do contracts. You know, we use, that is our custom. That is the way Heavenly Father wants it, you know. That is where, when we sin, the part of the contract was when we could sin, we could go off. There's some certain things we, we, we all know to do. You know, when we do a particular thing, a sin, then we have a priest. If you go, this in the details of the contract, we go to a priest. Then maybe the priest will ask you to bring maybe bullock or whatever, whatever. Yeah, there are different sacrifices to, to yeah. cleanse that, that sin because sin is actually breaking that the contract. The law, yeah. Which is, which is the law. Yeah. So once you break it, you've sinned. And that's what sin is, you know. Sin is not what the church is saying, you know. Sin is what the scriptures are saying. Because in order for you to cons uh, commit sin, it means there is a contract there and you're breaching the contract, of course. You, know? you know. So you needed blood. You needed a sacrifice to be done, but now we don't need those sacrifices anymore because Yahweh Shai has offered the perfect sacrifice. Yeah, Christianity, this is why Yahweh Shai came. He came to re reconcile. That's why Apostle Paul called it the, 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 the gospel of reconciliation. You know, he came to reconcile us back to our Father, you know, to continue in this contract that has been made. You know, this, this contract is not made to, to everybody, to the whole world. So when you read John 3, you try to get understanding. You know, uh, 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 Proverbs, I think, Proverbs 4, 7 said, uh, uh, Wisdom is a principal thing. So, therefore, get wisdom. But in all that getting, get understanding. You have to read with context. Not just read God love everybody. But in the same book, you hear when Yahweh said, I, I, I don't pray for the world, but I pray for them that you give me. So, yeah. why can't you people read that, that very uh, uh, chapter? You know, they always... <clears throat> Uh, John 3 16, God so loved the world. How about this one? He said, I don't pray for the world. How about that? How about the book of <laughs> Isaiah? Is it um, 49 or so that says, um, Israel um, is, uh, is my word? Let, 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 let's get it quickly. You know? Yeah. So when you read, you read with understanding. You know, in all that I get, you get understanding. Don't just read. Because this book is not written in English. You know, it has been translated from Hebrew to Greek. To Latin, now English. So you have to read with context. Isaiah 45 17. It says, yeah. Okay, yeah, where really it says Israel will be saved. In a, world, a world, a world without, without a world end. Without that end. is the word he's talking about. If you go to that word, it's Kainos. I think. No, no, no. That word is talking of, of cosmos. Cosmos, yeah. No, sorry. Cosmos, right? Yeah. Oh, it's cosmos. And you have um, Oikonomen, you yeah, have Cosmos. It. And you have Aeon. 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 Aeon is actually a time period. Exactly. Okay. Right. Yeah. Economy means the world war. That's yeah. where you get the word economy from. Exactly. Exactly. You know. Then you have the cosmos. Cosmos yeah. is talking about a tribe 
of people, yeah, you know. Exactly. It's set apart government. Set aside, it's set aside governments, you know? you know, of people. Yeah, no, but the churches don't understand all this because they don't go into the root of the words. Yeah. And Kalala Yehab Hashem Shai for giving us, you know, apostles and leaders, starting from the elder apostle Taha, you know, to, that teaches us how to go into the roots of words and break things down, you know? Yeah, because if you don't go to the roots of words, you don't understand these things. You don't understand it, you know? You can't understand it, you know? So, we all die getting, get understanding, you know? So, Let's keep reading, yeah. From Baru. Yes, sir. Four and eight, right? Yes, sir. No, no. Nine, nine. Okay, nine. This is Baru four. Keep reading. Just read, just read, because then you. Okay, I should just you know, read it along. Just be reading along, yes. When there is something to add, if you want to add something, you add something. If not, this is Baru four verse nine. You say, from when she saw the wrath of God coming upon you, she said, "Hacking all you." That dwelleth about Zion, God has brought upon me great mourning. Verse ten, for I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. Verse eleven. Can. So it's the Most High Yehovah Shemuel Shai that brought this plague upon the house of Israel. It's not the so-called white man because what he believes now is he's on the top. He does everything. He believes so, but he's, he doesn't know that he is an instrument. On the left hand side of the Most High Yehaba Hashem Yahushai, the Most High is using him to chasten us, you know? Keep reading. Verse 10. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but send them away with weeping and mourning. What? Let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsake and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children. I'm left desolate because they departed from the law of God. Verse 13. They knew not his statutes, nor walk in his ways of his commandments, nor trod in the path of the discipline in his righteousness. Can. Jake doesn't want discipline. Jake doesn't want to walk in the path of righteousness. And discipline means it goes to the word discipleship, you know? Yeah, discipline. That's where, yeah, 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 That's where you get the word disciple exactly. from. You know, Jake doesn't want to be disciplined. Jake wants to live a, a lawless life. That's why Esau already understands the he understands the ways of Jake. Esau knows how to get you, Jake. You know, he, he wants Jake wants all the breasts and booties, everything all out, man. They want all the girls to be bitches. You know, to get pussy whenever they want. You know, in which in the kingdom you're going to get all that thing. <laughs> You know, living in righteousness, you're going to get more of those things, you know. But Jake just wants that lawlessness, you know. Everyone just like animals, you know. And this is where Jake is fallen. Keep reading. But who, who in his right, in his, uh, uh, right mind will, will turn his own sisters, mothers, to a whore? You know, like if you watch uh, hip-hop, so-called hip-hop uh, uh, videos, this is what you see. You know, Jake will sing a song and he, he pick a, a Jake, a, a fellow sister, a Jake woman, and we he put on, ne uh, make yeah, her naked. naked, you know, for the whole world to see. Man, it doesn't make any sense. This is not wisdom. And that is part of that juice that Babylon has gotten them drunken of, you know. We've been drunken of the juice of Babylon. We've actually adopted their ways. We've adopted their ways and left our own ways. Yeah, because know? these people are beasts. You know, the scripture called them they beasts. They are base men. Base men, you know. So, the Esau, they love, they love to see us in that way because the moment we continue in that way, they, they continue ruling, you know. Because they, they, they can only rule in deception, you know. So, verse, verse 15, Baruch 4, 15, it says, For he has brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation and of a strange language, who neither reverence old man, no pity chai. 16. Those have carried away. He has brought a nation who neither reverence man. old man or child. Yeah. You know, these are these base people that we still talking, these wicked people. Let's get the book of Isaiah 10, 5. No. Isaiah 7, 7, 17 first. This is the book of Isaiah 7:17. It says, "The Lord has the Lord shall bring upon thee 
and upon thy people and upon thy father's house days that have not come from the days that Ephraim departed from Judah even the king of Assyria Assyria the king Assyria. of Assyria and the modern day king of Assyria are the kings of Babylon America United States you know the most I has brought them unto us because we have we've departed from his laws now let's get the book of Isaiah 10 5 with 5 and 6 This is Isaiah 10 verse 5. O oh, Isarian, the rod of O oh, Isarian, the rod of my anger. And the staff in thy hand is my indignation. Can. That's what I was saying. These people they don't know that they are only being instruments in the hands of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. They are the rod of the anger of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And what do you do with the rod? You chastise people with the rod. Keep reading. Verse 6. I will send him against an, a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. So, keep reading. Will I give him a charge, a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to train them down like the mire of the streets. Okay, so right. the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has given charge to Assyria, which is a rod of his indignation, you know, and the modern day Assyrians are the Edomites, you know, they are the Edomites. And they've been given unto it's been given unto them the power to chastise us, to get us back into our, our normal, to reset our brain. Exactly. Like in Africa, in Nigeria, you know, normally, you know, when you grow up in Nigeria, if you do some kind of crazy thing, you know, your parents they give you some kind of spank. And once you get that spank, it resets your brain, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> our parents do the whipping, you know, they don't let us. They don't just say, oh no, like they the way they give do it you, They the give state. you that ass whipping, man. And once you get that one spank, man, your brain resets. Yep. You just understand every dumb thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the way. The that's scripture said that spoil, uh, uh, spare the rod and spoil the child. But these people will tell you no. You know, actually, I, I heard that this in, in, in the school today, in, in, in European schools, they, they give uh, children uh, a phone number. If your dad or mother taught you, you yeah, can call you this call, number. You can call those numbers. Yeah. That is so, you know, feeding you that Babylonian juice. Yeah. You know, giving you that life of of waywardness. You know, yeah. that life of no law. So, Let's keep reading, man. So. Verse 16. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. This is Baruch 4 verse 16. It says, Those have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone, desolate, without daughters. Now let's link it with the book of Psalm 137. In which this, you see, everything that has happened in the past is a reincarnation. It's all coming to happen again. We were once taken captives by the Assyrians, by the Grecians, by the Babylonians. But we never learned from that. So it keeps repeating itself. But this is the last time because the Most High had mercy on us and He has given us a way to be reconciled again. You know, okay, let's read. From verse 7. Just read the main point. Go to the main point. Okay, this is uh, Psalm 137 verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou has served us. Can. You know, they are going to pay daily for all these things that they've done. You know? Now, if you keep reading, say, Happy are they that dash at thy little ones on the stones, man. Yeah. Which we're going to do in the kingdom. Yeah. The battery is almost down. Yeah. <laughs> the battery is almost I just saw the battery. It's there. I went there and it's 144. Yeah. 144 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Should from town. Yes. No, no, no. From Baruch. Baruch, yeah. Just want to touch it a little bit. Uh, what? 
I think we're going to, uh, the battery is dying. Oh, the battery is dying and I don't have a charger. Anyway, just read one more verse and we're going to close the lesson. You know? Just, anyway, um, we're going to, the battery is running down because the weather is extremely cold now. So the battery runs down earlier. Anyway, I'll try to see if I'll get uh, a mobile charger. But then, you know, the, 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 the important message of this lesson that we, we brought out through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, which is the Rukah Kodash, is to the house of Israel, you know, come back to your heritage, you know, leave this realm, um, religions, societies that you're part of, you know, and come back to your true heritage. Start walking according to, to, to the laws and statutes of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and things will be fine for you in these days that are coming, because there is so much evil coming very soon. A huge destruction is right at the door, you know. So this is the biggest act of love, as I always say, you know. We have brothers all over the world going out to teach, trying to beat everybody to come back, you know, to this great marriage that is about to take place, you know, the greatest marriage of all. You know, between us and the Lamb of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, which is Yahweh Shai, our Savior, you know. So we are calling you, you know, wake up before it's too late. You know, all hell is about to break loose, you know. Your riches, your society, your, your, your status in the society, anything that you put your heart on, your savings, they cannot save you in the day of rats, you know. They can't save you in the day of rats. Believing in these so-called devils, you know, that are speaking with the voice of butter on the TV telling you, giving you all sorts of false, false um, hope on the TV that everything is going to be okay, we're going back to a normal. Man, you're not going back to any damn normal, you know? You're only going to higher stages of, of, of wickedness, man, you know? So, hey, wake up, you know, seek the Lord while he still can be found because there is no time left, you know? There is no time left. This is not the time to start, you know, holding strong to your job or whatever, you know. There is a time for everything, like the book of um, Ecclesiastes says in chapter three. chapter 3. It says there is a time for everything. There is a time to gather and a time to live, a time to love and a time to hate. This is the time to hate this kingdom. This is the time to hate everything that is going on here, you know. This is the time to leave certain things, you know. That's why Yahweh Shai said, you know, it's going to be hard for a rich man um, to go into the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Now think about that, you know. And I remember when I was in the um, in the in the church of um, what do you call it? In the, in the church of the Mormons, you know, they try to confuse me with that scripture that it's actually talking about um, um, a, a needle, in which I still need to go through it. But I believe that it's actually literal what it says that a camel going through the eye of a needle. No, but know, they say know, that and um, the camel. A, a camel has um the yeah. house of the a camel is called a needle. Yeah, there, there you know? is, there's a, 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 a little entrance. A little entrance, in, you know. In Israel, then where you know people pass, but camel, it's like camel can you can camel cannot go in with the load. You know those days. Okay, camel you to need to take off those loads. So okay. when they uh, came to that place, they have to uh, offload. You know. So the those, camel can go in. Yeah. That so, that's called a needle. Yeah. You know, which which that was right anyway. So anyway, hopefully this lesson was um, edifying, you know, through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahushai Rataza, the upcoming week, you know, we might be all three going out to teach, push this word because we're going to push this word to our very last breath, you know, we're going to push this word to our very last breath until the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai says it's enough and we know that time is very soon, you know. Esau is doing everything, you know, to shut us up. And, you know, according to the book of Amos 8, 11, you know, the, the famine of the world, it's coming, we know. But this is the time that we, we have to, you know, to push the best we can, you know. So, having said all this, we want to give all the praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who told us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalawam also to the few aqua who are sincerely seeking this truth. Now on to the next one. Shalawam. 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 Abad Babal.